Hey y'all, I am Shakita and this is Go Mommy Fitness. y'all welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about how i stay motivated i often get people in my dms or when they see me they'll say i see you i know what you got going on i'm not ready yet i gotta get my mind right i just need to be motivated i gotta get motivated and I wanted to make this YouTube video to let you guys know that motivation will not always be there. Please let go of the myth of motivation. If you are depending on motivation to reach your goals, you will never reach them because I guarantee you, you will have more days on your fitness journey where you don't feel like doing it than you do feel like doing it. I have three helpful tips that'll help you reach your fitness goals. They help me, I utilize these tips to this day. And it was a process for me because when I started my fitness journey, I too wanted to stay motivated, but something that I learned and is that it's hard. And you know, when you're on your fitness journey, it challenges you and it doesn't just challenge your body, it challenges you mentally and it will uproot things that need to come out of you and it's a healing process and it's a it's a it's a complete journey it's not just about your body goals it's about your spirit it's about your mental and it's about your emotional i get a lot of people who just want to reach their body goals but then they come into it and they don't continue or they aren't really ready like they thought they were because it's hard. It, it gets hard. So let me share my tips with you on how I stay motivated. And my tip number one is that I go back and I look at progress pictures. So I have the photo grid app. I think that's the name of the app. And I'll go back and grab photos and or videos and I will put them side by side and I will look at my progress. And that's something that's super important to me because even though people look at me like I'm getting it and I motivate them, things happen to me too. And I get discouraged too. And um, life happens to me too. So when I'm feeling discouraged, when I'm not feeling motivated, when I'm not feeling like I want to do this today, it helps me to go back and look at where I was and, and where I am now. And that pushes me. It gets me so hyped, y'all. It pushes me to get up and do my workout. And I'm going to insert one of the last um, side-by-sides that I put together. looked at to get me motivated and I'll insert that clip here just so y'all see but one thing too with that is if you aren't doing anything in between time this isn't going to motivate you so I don't want you to go back and look at old photos and have it discourage you maybe you need to look at old photos and see where you were in comparison to where you are now to boost you to get back to where you were or better if that's where you want to be. Use that as a motivational tool. Don't use that to get yourself down. It's up to you to use the information to propel you forward. So you definitely will have to change the narrative if that is the case for you. Um, tip number two is that I had to recognize the flaws in my day to day. And um, I had to get real with myself and realize areas where I wasn't using my time properly or um, areas where I could improve. 
free space, whatever you want to call it, prioritizing. Um, I just, I realized that I was not doing a good job stewarding my time or managing my time well. And one of the things that I needed to do to fix that was to make myself a schedule. And I write everything down. I even brought my notebook to show y'all like this is my schedule and I had to on the top of it write what my goals were what I'm trying to accomplish and what I want to accomplish is something that I struggle with is getting up early I've always struggled with that my whole life but the way my life is set up now I have to utilize the first few hours of my day before my kids are up to get things done that prevents me from rushing throughout the day or feeling like I'm not prepared or feeling like I can't get everything done. So for me, my day has to start early, even though I struggle with it. And I wrote that down. So to change my narrative and how I operate in my day to day, I got to get up early. I got a meal plan and or prep sometimes. Um, I need to start back taking my vitamins. I need to master this schedule and this workflow. And um, I need to recognize that I can only do one thing at a time. And that's something that I've been struggling with too. But to help me stay um, on track and to remind me that I'm only one person, I created this schedule for myself. And it's not going to be perfect every day. Um, usually my Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are similar to one another. And then my Tuesdays and Thursdays are similar to one another. So this changes. And if something happens where I need to pivot, I can pivot, especially if I get up when I'm supposed to. So it's not a big deal if something happens and I don't get to my homework assignments that day. I got a whole week to do my homework. But I'm really intentional about including it in my schedule because if nothing happens and I don't need to pivot, I could be sitting down doing my homework. And uh, this is something that's been super helpful for me. And how that applies here is that I schedule my gym time. I schedule when I eat because if I don't, I'm not going to eat. I will always likely go to the gym or work out, but I won't always eat. So to hold me accountable, I schedule my meals. And when it's that time, I eat. And this works for me. So I wanted to share that tip with you. So tip number two is I operate off of a schedule, a routine. And that is super important in your fitness journey because when motivation is not going to be there, you need to operate in your routine. It needs to become a habit. You aren't going to feel like it. But if you're operating on a schedule, you can get it done. I know there's days where you don't feel like getting up and going to work because I didn't. But that was my schedule. They expected me to be there. So I showed up. And if you create this type of schedule for yourself too, the expectation is that you're going to be there and you're going to show up. The third thing that helps me when I just do not feel like it, like it's likely that I'm not going to get up and work out. Um, I will take this pre-workout. It's by Women's Best. It is the um, Orange Mango Dream flavor a performance supplement. It contains caffeine. And um, I don't take this all the time. I really take this on the days where I'm. it's likely that I won't work out if I don't. And um, it helps me get up. The caffeine gives me a boost. I literally won't sit still. Um, so I have to get in the gym and I have to burn it. So this is why I like to take it. I don't agree with the ingredients which is why I don't use it very often. Like with anything else, it's in moderation, like super moderation. But every now and then I need this because every now and then I just don't have the motivation. I don't 
feel like it. I might be dealing with something else or um, I just might be tired. I might be discouraged. It could be anything and it might just be weighing on me heavy. And um, because I don't want to lose track of my goals, I'll grab this and I'll take it and um, it'll give me the boost that I need and I'll go work out. And um, it's usually a pretty good workout too. Um, something that I want to say about this though is that if you've never taken pre-workout before, be mindful of the effects. It gives, first of all, you're going to poop because of the caffeine, like almost immediately. Um, usually like right after the workout, it is, it'll give you jitters. It will make you feel like once you start moving around and it's in your system, it might give you like this itchy feeling, but it only lasts for a few seconds. It's really bizarre how it affects you, which is another reason why I use it sparingly, but it does in fact give me the boost that I need when I desperately need it, but I would say use it sparingly. If you try it for the first time, learn from me, okay? Definitely do not take this on an empty stomach because it's going to heighten those side effects. Um, if you are trying this for the first time, do a half a scoop and not a full scoop in one whole bottle of water. Once you build yourself up, then you can do one full scoop in a bottle of water. Drink this 20 minutes before your workout. It needs about 20 minutes to set in and boost you for your workout. So you can't be drinking this on your way in thinking it's going to give you that kick because it won't. Drink it on the way to the gym or as you're walking out the door get to give it time to get in your system. So that is my third thing. So to recap, I would say look at your progress pictures or look at where you were as a reference to where you want to go. Schedule, schedule your workout, schedule your meals because you will have to fall back on that routine when that motivation is not there. And number three, if you choose to use pre-workout, I'm not telling you to use it or not use it. It's up to you. Just rewind and listen to those helpful tips. Um, it's something that works for me when I'm down and I use it sparingly because I really don't care for all the ingredients in it, but it's your body, your choice. The last thing I do want to say though is everything is a mindset and um, you have to stay dialed in on your why. You have to stay dialed in on your goal because if you're waiting to feel like you want to do this, it's not going to happen. And um, start thinking now if you haven't started or if you have and you need this, start considering a plan of action for when you don't feel like it because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need something to fall back on. And just remember that this is a journey, right? So let's say your goal is to lose 20 pounds. Once you lose the 20 pounds, what are you gonna do? You can't just stop. You can't just go back to your old habits because you're gonna put on the 20 pounds again. So at that point, you have to learn how to maintain where you are. So you're you're never going to stop. You're always going to continue. You're always going to pivot. It's always going to change. It's just going to look different. And you have to know, you have to understand that in order for you to have an enjoyable journey. It's okay if you do something and it doesn't work. You're learning something about your body. So pivot, switch it up. Because you're going to be doing that for the rest of your life. We have to get older. We want to stay moving. We want to stay independent. So start looking at it like, okay, this is just going to be a part of my journey. It's going to come with ups and downs and changes. My body is going to change as I get older. And things that used to work for me are not going to work anymore. Possibly. And that's okay. 
but then you got a new learning curve in figuring out what works for your body. And um, life is gonna happen. Life happened with me. I was in the hospital in November and I lost, I lost my butt. I lost the definition in my legs. I lost my strength. And I wasn't anticipating that or expecting that. And now I'm building myself back up. I couldn't control that happening in my life, but I can control how I move forward. It was 100% discouraging, but I'm working to get back and to get better. And I do understand that it's a journey and things are going to continue to happen, but I have enough information to pivot to see what works for my body now and to move forward. So I want y'all to, to keep that in your minds that it's a journey and it's not going to always be the same and that is okay. That is it for me today, y'all. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. I hope these tips work for you. If you try them, please come back and let me know in the comments and let me know how it's going. My favorite one out of the whole thing, though, is my schedule. That has really changed the game for me. I really needed it, and um, I hope that it works for you, too. But please know that I love you, as always. And in the meantime, go mommy. Share, share, share.